Welcome to level three. Can't believe we made of it this far. Of the Heartbreak Arcade. It's been a while, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Real life has gotten in the way a little bit. As it does. But, as we've gone through our other previous releases, we've had a game that's gone along with them, and game number three is gonna be kind of a game, kind of more just like a chill session. Um, our new song is called Caffeine, by the way. While we just have a nice little coffee talk here in the summer about what we listen to every time it rolls into June, July, and August. You're going to find out a lot about us, and you're going to pretty much narrow down probably what year we were born based on all of these songs. Okay, so here's how this game, or in this case, the talk's going to work. Uh, Aaron and I both have not gone over our list with each other, but we made lists that... Quite frankly, we set a target number but did not stick to. We were supposed to show up today. Each of us have 10 songs for our ultimate all-time summer jam songs. I came today with 31. I think I had 25. So we're not doing well just from the get-go of getting our songs narrowed down. So here's what we're going to do to fix that and make this run smoothly. Uh, we're going to do this in a couple different rounds. Round one, we're just going to talk about what we put on our initial list and then from there uh, we're gonna go to round two which is us kind of whittling down our list to ten a piece and then whittling down that list again to about five a piece in round three we will get to five far side favorite summer yeah. jams yeah and maybe we'll throw these on our far side favorites playlist plug for our spotify playlist because we don't actually push that all that often <laughs> that is very true so, so yeah once this is all done We'll throw it on our Far Side Favorites playlist and get some movement on that again. All right, so yes. round one. Let's do Here it. Here we go. On the caffeine. Round one. Woo. So what was the first one that came to mind? The very first one that came to mind was Weightless by All Time Low. Um, really? Yeah. I, I didn't even put it on my list. Really? <laughs> no. I mean, that song, that album it's came great. out at the beginning of summer, midsummer, or something. But like, I remember playing that in the car after school all the time at like the end of the school year. Ah. Uh, Don't like, once the weather hit like 70, 75, like that's the album I was playing. Well, that song legitimately has one of the best lyrics ever written. Maybe, Maybe it's, it's not, not my weekend, weekend but, it's but it's gonna, gonna be, be my, my year. year. Yep. So like, I feel like that would be a good kickoff to summer song. I didn't yeah. think of it that way. I guess most people use it as their New Year's resolution song. That's where um, I've always yeah. heard but people say it. It just sounds like summer to me, just based on. I mean, we're Warped Tour kids. Yeah, so for sure. So it's like we always did that in the summer. So I always condition myself to be like pop punk in the summertime. But. I love it. Um, I do have an all time low song on mine. So I mean, I guess okay, I could just. Yeah. It wasn't my first one that I thought of, but yeah. if you want to go that yeah, way, yeah, go for it. So. Uh, I was telling Aaron before, I had a really like honest conversation with myself about like what I put on this list and it, I didn't want it to just be straight nostalgia because I wanted it to have like actual backing as to why I think it's a summer song. So I actually went back and looked at what am I actually going back to and listening the most. Mm -hmm. um, and this is such a weird answer and you're probably going to be surprised by it. Oh, man. But my all time low song that I picked was Summer Days. Um, from Wake Up Sunshine, That's which like was a newer their, one, which yeah. was their latest album. Wow! So here's why: that album came out. If I'm not mistaken, it was during the COVID lockdown, yep. right before summer. Yep. So when we're all stuck at home, I one thing that I actually enjoyed about that lockdown was like all kinds of musicians and stuff were doing like live streams and yeah. things like that. And All Time Load did a really good job of doing a lot of like hangouts oh, yeah. and um and like live acoustic sets and things like that yeah well they went like even track by track with um with their producers oh, kind of like what we've done with josh that. too i watched all of those yeah. yeah so for me when i think back to that covid summer mm -hmm. that's like that album actually brings me back to a place of like that was one of the good things about yeah. that whole yeah. time. So I'm not saying that COVID was a good thing because it's right, not, right. but like I, there is a, there's a part of it that I actually really do miss. It's just like being able to like slow down yeah. and relax and just listen to that album. And summer days I thought was like one of the more summery songs on it, obviously yeah. because summer days and I like the lyric, uh, in the course just says summer days don't fade away from me. So yeah, like, no, that's I, I went with more like a, I guess a, yeah, I feel that. A recent all-time yeah, low thing. Yeah, that's funny because I actually have a very similar association with that album. Like, I remember doing a lot of my, like, social distance walks, like, outside, and I would listen to that album. Or even I'd work out in my apartment, too, and I would yeah. play that album just because 
when I'm working out or exercising, I want something that's like super upbeat, and mm-hmm. that is like a very upbeat all time low album. I ended up going to older songs just because of a nostalgia purpose, which we yeah. talked about before the video. Like maybe we should not always lean on our nostalgia for our summer jam. So we're trying to pare it down to not just rely on that, but yeah. it's hard because it's like most of my good summer memories are all around music. But yeah, all right, you next. So I guess the band called the summer set with the song missing you for some reason so that, good that song i love that song yeah i mean that a whole stories for monday album is very summer memories for me um for sure. but missing you specifically i don't know it was like i think it was the first single or second single off that album no i think it was first i think it was that one and then jean jacket came out okay i couldn't remember figure me out was, oh you know what it was figure me out it's yeah. figure me out then missing you and then yeah. jean jacket i think yeah but i don't know we even like we covered a lot of old Somerset songs back in the day. So, I mean, that, I don't think we ever covered that one specifically. I'm with you on Missing You. I didn't put it on here, but it is. I thought about it. Yeah. Um, definitely one of my favorite Somerset songs by far. Yeah. Um, for those of you who have not listened to the Somerset and you like our music, go listen to the Somerset because a lot of people make that connection, to yeah. be honest, for like a really long time. They're putting out new music too. They just released a song with Chrissy Costanza from uh, Against yeah. the Current recently. Teenagers. Like they're releasing again. So My all-time summer Somerset song, which mm-hmm. I had to include because they're one of my favorites, was Chelsea oh. because it's what they close every single set with. Yeah. So for all the times that I've seen them and seen them at Warped Tour and things like that, for that me, yeah. that one is the most like... Yeah, that's a classic one. Yeah, so I mean... I, Chelsea and the boys you do are like those like those the are the two, two I went songs I first ever heard from them. So. Yeah, and I even think like to the the album art too kind of screams summer to me with like the the orange oh, yellow. Yeah. Like, What's the album? Love like this? Is that the album it's on? Yeah, yeah, I like the yeah. album artwork. It's like very red orangey. Yeah, mm-hmm. I listen to Paramore a lot in the summer, um, and so I was trying to narrow down all the Paramore songs because they're all amazing. I'm gonna like. Can I guess which one you put? I don't think you're gonna get it. But, really? But I was maybe. gonna say in it fun. No, uh, I mean I really consider that album. It actually isn't even from that album because I still remember listening to that song when we went to go see him at the Monument Tour with oh, Fall Out yeah. Boy yeah. and like it's raining but they're like yeah. throwing out confetti and everyone's just like so jamming oh yeah the the one I picked was Pool oh so good Which yes is like I actually like it almost like a nighttime summer driving yep. song like, one of my favorite songs from them for Pool, sure that's the After Laughter album and like mm-hmm. oh it's so good and like their best album I think it's their best album it's the most textured and colorful album both like musically and lyrically i think because like a lot of their older stuff was just like teenage angsty lyrics which was amazing which was good too like i I was very into that i do think that their best i don't even think it's fair to say they have a best album because everything's so different from like when they first got together to how much they changed putting out like they would have never put out that in 2007 no no. but i don't think i would have even liked it in 2007 no i wouldn't have either i had to grow up (laughs) i I had to grow up and get over my power cords grow up sometimes nice yeah um which so it was really hard picking a paramore song i also honorable mention was that's what you get which is a classic one um yeah but I don't I, have I any reason to. to I don't have any reason to put that for summer for some reason. Like I don't know. Like I do. I took the summer thing really literally. Okay. So like, my first instinct pick is my favorite song of all time. I have been very vocal about what my favorite song of all time is. It's Ocean Avenue. Oh. It's it's Yellow Card. It's Ocean Avenue. I don't That's, think I put a Yellow Card on here. Oh, I, don't, I did. I did. They literally have a song called Always Summer as well, which I also put on here. I put on uh, there too. Always Summer made my list. Um, but. No, Ocean Avenue is my favorite song ever. How is that? It's summer imagery, yeah. summer. And we, everybody yells it at Warp Tour. Yeah. Um, we just did a chilled cover of it on people, our Instagram too. Yes, we did. Yeah. And people who don't even listen to like that style of music, everybody knows Ocean Avenue. Yeah. And it's the, in my opinion, it's the ultimate summer song. It's the quintessential. Like, that's the one that if it doesn't make yeah. our final list, I'm going to fight uh, you. I, oh, man, yeah. I put Always Summer because I was trying not to go with like the most radio hit no i get choice, it but i get it but I get that it. song is I get so it. classic i i also understand i put always summer for many reasons and it's all the of violin these are, solo all That's of these why. are going back to nostalgia too like the timing of that song specifically always summer was when uh-huh. like they were they just released um if you're through thinking say yes yep like the year 2011, before 2012 yeah. ish and yeah. so like right as like warp tour hit i remember the day we were going to warp tour maybe the day before they had just released always summer as a single like oh, or that okay. week maybe yeah so it was like 
and they were playing it that was in their set at warp tour was always summer and it's like well you know my favorite summer memory i think is like all of us just jumping around listening to yellow cards sing always summer and they played ocean avenue at that show too of course like they would um you know what's funny is i actually i could be wrong here but that was the second single they put out on that album i think the first one was awakening i remember listening to it on youtube yeah Uh, (laughs) Yeah, but they def- I think they played both of them at the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was like their two singles from the album. Yeah, but like- amazing. No, Always Summer is so good. You can't go wrong with it. Yeah. I had it on here, too. Yeah. Tongue Tied. By who? Group Love. Oh, I forgot about Group Love altogether. Dude, I know. We were talking about pop punk jams, and yeah. I was like, it's not all pop punk, though. Dang. So, that, I mean, That's, for me, yeah. Tongue Tied is a, it's like the ultimate, honestly, like college party song to be honest Uh, but like when i think of the end of summer going back to school kind of time like that was yeah that was like the the party song from what i can remember so it was still summer yeah so i'm still i'm i don't know i don't don't really listen to that song a whole lot like i've listened to it i just feel like that's like one that automatically gets people going and that's what you want in the summer get them get them jumping all right i mean we can take a real curveball here do it this again summer jam it's i know it gets some flack because it was in a movie but can't stop the feeling by justin timberlake oh my gosh i didn't even think of i didn't really even go top 40 that i know like i didn't really shoot which means like i should have put like call me maybe on here or something i didn't go pop at all except for that song i think the rest of them were still kind of alternative or whatever but that was the only one um i actually have a country song in here too but um (laughs) i thought about it uh can't stop the feeling like i think it was the summer of my 21st birthday is when that came out i forget what year that was but like that was my jam there was this girl i worked with that always associated that song with me like for some reason no like, you did go on a i remember you being obsessed with that song for yeah. a while like you were playing it, was, it all the time i was like justin timber okay uh, yeah. like no shame like it it's a good great. song it was great um one of my other ones that i put on here that had to be like had to be on here i think this is one of the the few ones where i thought more with my heart and less yeah. with like it has to be summer yeah um jack's mannequin holiday from real uh for okay. me that okay. album it's not like the summer jam like get you up and going because it's like a super emotional album yeah. but it does have a lot of summer themes in it yeah this open it's like my favorite opening track to honestly my favorite album ever written is mm-hmm. that one and uh it starts off with like seagulls and like uh like sounds from like venice beach or something like that and yeah so he has the uh he has the line in the chorus that says if you left it up to me every day would be a holiday from real Mm. and that's like my favorite my favorite line probably ever yeah uh that album screams summer to me uh so that same album i have a song from it on my list did you put mixtape on there nope i almost did i put dark blue uh, that's like my favorite See, chorus, I, I think. I love it. Yeah. It's such a good song. I feel like it's so dark though that like I couldn't dark put blue, it for. Dark blue. I mean, I couldn't it's, put it's it for, dark like, lyrically, some... but like I think musically, it's still very like. It's still upbeat. It's just so sad. The song, the the album can be pretty emotional and yeah, it's kind of sad at some points. It's a heavy but, album, but dude, that's my favorite. That's my favorite album of all time, dude. And I always associate I associate this with One Tree Hill a lot. Jack's oh, Mannequin yeah, for in sure. general because that's where I found there them. There were so many Jack's Mannequin songs in One Tree Hill. I listened to Mixtape for the first time when they were playing it. Trick. Oh, and Trick, and, yeah. <laughs> it was actually Andrew McMahon because they yeah. always had guests like Gavin DeGraw sang the theme song. So it's like he was on the show. So but. there. So the, the bands that I actually discover from that show, um, definitely uh jack's mannequin mm-hmm. number two not that i discovered them but started listening to them with jimmy Eat world because they had um oh, uh, the kill right the it was kill, kill right yes yep um if you only once would let me yeah, yeah. so I, good. another band that i picked up from one tree hill was the spill canvas they I'm all over you so it wasn't even that song it was not like a it was a slower one this is for keeps i think and yep. it was like some sad moment where uh what's his face chad michael murray was brooding was in his room yeah like he was doing something <laughs> like that and, but like Wait, I'm like, why do the- all of our <laughs> videos end up going back to one tree hill this is a theme we're uh deeply inspired so um, the spill canvas though one of their songs made my list wait which spill canvas song was it was it all over you no it was really reckless abandonment you were always a more bigger fan than them than yeah, i was i i just remember cutting grass to that album <laughs> which is like the stupidest memory but yeah cutting grass you never just like no i have cutting grass albums my cutting grass (laughs) album is uh this is so random 
Let's see if we it's have any. Boys this. like girls. Oh, it's wow. the uh, self-titled. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's, or wait, no. Yeah, the one yeah. with hero heroin and yeah. yeah. I think it's self or five minutes to midnight. Is that the name? No, that's no, the that's Park one of the album. singles. <laughs> that's a Lincoln Park album, I think. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that actually surprisingly never made my list of grass cutting music. Well, but I don't know. I think I just more remember it. Yellow like, card is grass cutting music for me too. Yeah. Then really? I got old and I started listening to podcasts instead. <laughs> That's uh, great. Okay, so Stacy's mom. Ha. Okay. That's I, fair. And here for That's me, fair. I remember WVAQ doing their like request uh like lunch hour, whatever yeah, yeah, that I they that. I think they probably still do it. Probably. I don't know. I don't listen no to No one listens anymore. to the radio, but yeah. I remember being like in middle school and being like, Can you play Stacy's mom, please? <laughs> and then like it was Yeah. I don't know, I just always liked that time. one. For me it was like it was very summer just in the way that like I consumed it. But. Yeah. That was one of the first songs I learned on guitar, I think. That dun 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 yeah. dun 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 Yeah. Um I don't know. That song is classic. I didn't make my list. I didn't even think about it. House Party by Sam Hunt. <laughs> Skyway Avenue by We the Kings. No Filter by Hit the Lights. Uh, Mr. Right by Rocket to the Moon. So I have a Rocket to the Moon too, but I put Annabelle because it's the first song off the album. So it's yeah. the one I'd always start with. Yeah. But I loved a Rocket to the Moon. Yeah. The Outfield by The Night Game. I didn't even think about putting The Night Game on here. That I is, love The Night Game. I mean, that, that album. Great. Yes, yes. Su- summer album. That's got to make I would. List. I like, would. I would gosh why didn't i think of that yeah i think it's just because it's well, so dark that i wouldn't have thought of a summer jam but i always forget there's like summer night yeah like calm Com- vibes. calling back to this mug i listened to this album for the first time as i was coming home from my europe trip well and i think you i sent, sent it, it to you, you sent yeah. it to me and you said hey check this out you're not gonna believe who the lead singer is so it, i had no idea i don't even think you guessed it i no, had to I tell didn't. you I, I could not pick up who is for people that don't know um, the night game is uh, from the front man of Boys Like Girls, Martin, Martin Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, um, the king of pop music. That's seriously that's like if you're but... if you've never listened to the night game before, stop what you're doing, <laughs> go listen to that, and then come back. Seriously, the um, night that game album is... is one of probably my favorites I've ever heard. Yeah. Uh, I love their new wow. album. His new out al- their new album. There's multiple people involved, but their f- original album was yeah. So I remember good. when I I listened to it. That was the first song I heard. Um, actually, I think what had happened is. I could be wrong here, but I think Brian Dales from the Somerset had said something hmm. on his story about just like, uh, or it might have just been a picture of the album, and I was bored. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, it's cool artwork too. It's very that album is very minimal. It's like yeah. you look at it and you're like, what am I looking at? It's just a dark. Yeah, it's just thing. Well, subtle. It, you can almost not even read the name of the band. Yeah, and it's just like the it's like uh, stadium lights. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah. But um, uh, but but yeah, I, I saw it on his. Uh, instagram story i think or a tweet or something and i went and listened to it took me until the third song wait third song girls bad girls girls don't don't cry cry. what am i supposed to do when he when he broke into falsetto i was like hero heroin no 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 and i looked it up and sent it to aaron i'm just so not used to hearing martin johnson sing like that even the falsetto still was different enough for me i didn't pick up on it like he just sings so differently now. It's he does. Not, it's not none of that whiny, well, high he's, belt. It's more of like a. I don't even know how to. Well, he's even said so himself. He likes being able to. I, I was in an interview. I forget which one, but he was like, you know, now that I'm not in boys like girls and just have to like yell and scream at the top of my lungs yeah. all the time, and like, God, he's such a good singer. He is. He's yeah. Uh, he's great. Awesome. Sinner by Def Havana. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Um, Let's go by Cartel. <laughs> <laughs> cartel baby that's one of our favorite bands ever yes and they're now releasing new music again and i pre-ordered one of their shirts did um, you get the peach one i got the peach ah. one and then josh allen from a story told responded, it's like dude i just bought a shirt too nice so that was awesome <laughs> home for the summer that's exactly what i was gonna I, do dude i it's honestly one that i go back to yeah. a lot and i don't just say that because like there are people that we kind of know yeah. we've played shows with before home but for like the summer is the, a jam <laughs> i'm i'm very lyrics driven and if i if i have a lyric that like really sticks with me um which that one just does everybody's home for the summer yeah. i'm trading my soul for a good time yeah. like i just feel like that's the ultimate and i i've never talked to them about what they wrote the song about but it, yeah. it just seems like going back to your hometown and everybody's back and yeah. you're just like either i, I trade my soul for a good time yeah there you, you go know? that's what you're doing panic vertigo the rex i put a rex song on here but oh. it was not that one okay recency bias 
Sonder is like their best uh, song they've ever written. It's amazing. Sonder. Okay, maybe not the best song they've ever written, but like, yeah, bro, it's so good. It's like uh, everything you wanted in a we, electronic slash pop punk hybrid. We like. just saw the Rex play uh, in Pittsburgh. They uh, were amazing. What was uh, the venue? Thunderbird Music Cafe. Thunderbird Cafe. Yeah, yeah. it was cool venue by the it way it was really too. cool really cool venue when you walk into the front it just looks like a bar and then all of a sudden you go through this back little door and all of a sudden it opens up into this huge venue yeah and the whole cool. thing is like built vertically which i thought was cool because there's three different layers yeah um, so it was a weird layout yeah but... it, very vertical but then like around the corner there's like a whole other bar area that we sat in before the uh like while the first bands were yeah. playing it was completely secluded yeah but i loved like the different uh yeah, how it was built vertical it, really cool pictures really that we cool took yeah. elevated by state champs i put that one okay yeah yeah uh, all your heart transit dude <laughs> i put transit but i didn't put that song um, i just like it because patrick i Thompson put in. oh yeah well yeah. that is also i will say one of my favorite albums of all time uh i remember hearing that one and i've never listened to anything that was like at that time it was all like straight up pop punk but that was more mm-hmm. of like a midwestern emo yeah. like almost like kind of, dabbling yeah. into it uh, a lot of really cool guitar licks and yeah. more of a darker chill vibe yeah. like a summer night sound that was like i put f- I put Skipping Stone oh, that's a good because one. that was the first one I had heard from them. It was on a compilation. I was about to say, we picked up one at Warp Tour. It was yeah. like a very well, early Warp Tour. Yeah. Remember the compilation? Wasn't that a Warp Tour? I had heard, I had heard it off of it back at the time they were doing free iTunes downloads. Hopeless and there were, Records or Fearless Records or whatever. So there was that one. There was Cap, uh, Chunk No Captain Chunks. Uh, hey, dudes, are you oh, ready yeah. to? And Friends We and Trust. Then, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I'm pretty sure the third one was uh, For Today. We, we are fearless <laughs> but uh no so oh, i i put man. that one just because like if you haven't noticed by now a lot of our music tastes uh kind of revolve around being warped tour kids but, oh yeah uh, um but i remember transit too <laughs> well, i think it was the same year as the always summer experience i think but it could have been a different year probably um it's around the same time i think yeah. skipping wait it was the Listen year we forgive came out in 2012 or 13 it was the year we went with emily and rj that's all i remember um, yeah, I've been 2013 yeah. then, I think. And there was Shout out were, Emily and RJ. Yeah, I'm talking to you guys throwback. a while. Um, but they gave out these oh, like wait, mix It's JR, not RJ. Dang it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but they gave out these, I think they were free, but maybe they weren't. Maybe they were like five bucks. But it was like a compilation disc of just yeah. Warped Tour artists. Yeah, yeah. And I think Asleep at the Wheel was on that one. It might have or been. Or it was Skipping Stone. They were always one of those cool bands that did the acoustic sessions too and like the acoustic one, right? tent. Yeah, we watched him for yeah. a little bit, yeah. like between bands. Man. They were um, really great. I'm going to I'm gonna cut in and I'm going to do some of mine. Yeah, go for it. Uh, and you're not going to agree with me on probably a lot of these. Um, Part-Time Bum by Emily's Army. Oh, God. Do you remember Emily's Army? Also Warped Tour. Yes. Yeah. But that, that never... song is like straight up surf punk. And for yeah. me, it's super uh, yeah. like summer. I mean, but were, I know we Weren't won't... they like 14 year olds? Yes. They were like really young. Like we were also like probably 17 <laughs> when we saw them but yeah, and their it, was, it was comes out in like a checkered speedo it was <laughs> it was strange for us because like we're kids in high yeah. school going and to see bands we're age. used to them being like 20 plus and then this band comes out and they're like kids like they're younger than us right it was very interesting but. i i i do really like their lost at 17 album a ton I it's never was into it's them really lot. like just old school surf punk and okay. for me that scream summer uh, yeah i mean um i also put another one of their songs but under their swimmers Mm. uh band they grew up and ended up branching off into a, a band called swimmers and they have a song called lose 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 i think um, i like swimmers and their album berkeley's on fire uh came out in i think 2019 ish mm. and it was one that is when it, it came out like punk or is it different so it's it's really weird there's a lot of hip-hop vibes in there um like hip-hop drum beats over like kind of punk so kind it's like of the mgk alt- thing or no because MGK I, is very sorta, much like... Sort oh. of, but like good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he saved rock and roll. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, According to his Netflix or his Hulu documentary, he saved rock and roll or whatever the heck. So, so I had Lose, Lose, Lose on there. I also watched them play Lose, Lose, Lose uh, during the X Games because I love watching the X Games in the summer. Just a weird thing for me. So like some of these ones that I know aren't going to make it to the next round are just my own personal. Yeah. But... Um, I also put Midnight uh, Moonlight Ride by uh, 
for the foxes oh. which was a band that we loved oh, man. back in the day i didn't even put any of their songs in the should i keep that, that one around needs to go. that okay. moonlight ride specifically moonlight ride i saw i listened for the first time i heard it in the changing room at hollister when i was in high school and i was like wow this is amazing so another one that i put that i know you won't care about i Fun fact about me that you you probably don't even know. Um, my most listened to artist or one of my most listened to artists from last year was Less Than Jake. Oh, uh, Ska, baby. What? Ska <laughs> means summer. I, I got absolutely addicted to Less Than Jake for a solid year. And look what happened is... Uh, Dang. A freaking jam from their anthem I mean, album back in 2003. Did we see them in Warped Tour? We've like, seen them, yeah. but I just like wasn't a fan at the time. They were like a little old for me to know. Yeah. And then when I started going back and like listening, I was like, yeah. to oh, what were like the bands that I like? What were their influences? And I less than Jake Bloom freaking blew me away. Dang. I love that anthem album. They are yeah. still putting out music that's really good. But look what happened uh, is so good with the horns, man. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh. It's so good. That's honestly reminds you me. You should of, go listen to it a little bit. Maybe it's the vocals in that. It reminds Fall me. Boy? Of, no, I was gonna say old starting line. Yeah, like okay, I can up see that. and go or like that kind of thing. Another one that goes to me and use a good one. Okay, Hold I would like this. They're actually they're actually not as ska as I thought. Like, they're way more yeah, punk influenced yeah. ska. Like there's real big fish ska. Yeah, and then there's I always like, I always reggae. picture them as being yeah. <laughs> no, they, um, they're like okay. Fuck. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go listen to that album it's, soon. You you should go listen to it. It's That's good. not bad. All right, I might be I might stand corrected on that. Yeah, but I mean we probably won't include it. It's for sure the definition of a summer jam for me. Another one I put on there on our pop punk days was Storyteller from Broadside. It was yeah. a good one. Also, a uh, band. I also, this was, now here's where things start to get a little weird. Okay. My next couple, you're going to be like, Adam, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Walking on a Dream by the Empire Sun. I don't know if I even know that song. You do? Because it's in a lot of commercials. No way. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on. Oh, man. Man, if we're going this territory, I could have picked a whole collection of songs. I forgot about like this is a vibe. This uh -huh. kind of reminds me of like Chill, Lovely the Band it, or something. Of it. Yeah, yeah. So the next song that I picked, there's a connection here. Mm -hmm. So Walking on the Dream, Walking on a Dream is by uh, Empire of the Sun. Mm -hmm. They have another song that's called Half Mast. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, very like alt indie it's the track that sampled in the song that i picked next okay the spins by mac miller oh because man. so so mac miller i didn't put like you went random country yeah. i went one random like yeah uh rap song my, mac my brother phil listen. went through a big mac miller thing so i i most people did <laughs> but like when i would like go to school with my brother he would be playing mac miller a lot so the spins man it's the same. I Whoops. Really, I do like Mac Miller. But like, there's a line in it. And the reason I included it too is a summer song. Um, he he goes, oh, I just graduated. I just graduated high school. So like, <laughs> yeah. summer. Summer. Uh, yeah, I like that. So I had that one. Um, another one that I had was Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People, Ooh, I yeah. think is a big summer song. Okay, and here's one that you might yell at me for. Oh, man. And, okay. and again, it's a little bit of recency bias. Good for you. Olivia Rodrigo. Olivia Rodrigo. Okay. I, I, I it really, was one that I like jammed a lot in the summer. I, I didn't pick a lot of recent songs, I guess. I don't, I, I don't know why I disregarded them, but like that's a really good one. That whole album. I kind of want to keep it in consideration. Oh, man. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's making me think about like other songs I didn't pick. Like, so, like uh, Upsall songs. I don't yeah, know. I don't know if I consider it summer though. Mm -mm. I there's a lot of artists that I picked or that I didn't make the list that like I love, but they're not summer. Like they're right. oh, they're almost like spring or like fall. Well, <laughs> like that's what, that's what makes this thing interesting is yeah. because we always. T I don't know if you guys are like us, but me and Aaron always talk about listening to certain music during certain times. Yeah, one of my like biggest like 
pet peeves. I cannot listen to Panic at the Disco's Vices and Virtues album unless it is like October. Yeah. For some yeah. reason, it's just because it's kind of spooky. Same, it's kind of weird yeah. and minery. And it's like, it is it I, is fall yeah. and it is no time else. Yeah. I'm the same way with, I didn't pick, I didn't pick any Panic at the Disco songs for summer for some reason. Like Neither did I. I, uh, L.A. Devotee album. What is that one? Victorious. Bachelor. Bachelor. Death, Death of Bachelor. Bachelor. Um, that album I love, but it's like just before summer. It's like like March or something. Because yeah. I think it's when it came out. So that's what like sticks I, in my I, memory. I've never been like, I can listen to them all the time. So I've never that's just true. been like, eh, this is summer. Yeah. Except for Vices and Virtues. I'm like, that's fall. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I agree though. There's a lot of like the, for example, I don't listen to this band a lot anymore, but I can only also listen to Set It Off in october that's like, weird i can't listen to them <laughs> <laughs> that's also fair <laughs> oh, man. oh you always like them more than i did I okay did. so I, I only have like two or three more so okay. i'm just gonna go through yep. um the next one uh day player by uh uh seaway seaway had that vacation album yeah. that i really really liked and yeah. it's like it's really summer uh, i remember you sending that to me i don't think i was doing a great it a whole album lot, but, uh, day player is the one that's like uh i don't know if you'd remember it um, she said this is goodbye just for now. She mm. said that Hollywood is coming for oh, you. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, um, that's one I go back to a lot. One that I again go back to a lot nowadays, even though we just discovered this band in the last couple of years. It's Sub Radio. Better than that, Ooh. I put that on there. I almost and then put Sub Radio. One that I actually think should be included, mm-hmm. but. Okay, number one, I think it should be included. Number two, I don't know how the song didn't get way bigger than it was. Time Bomb by Walk the Moon. I thought you were going to say Time Bomb by All Time Low. No. <laughs> Time Bomb by Walk the Moon. How does that chorus go? I forget. Um, It's not the... I can't remember how the song goes at all. It's from the... Here, let me play. Talking is Hard album? Yeah, no. No. No, that's, that's like Shut Up and Dance With Me. Yeah. No, Time Bomb was the single that was released that in one? 2020, when I think. you are close to me. Is that? Nope. Uh, what is that song by Walk the Moon? Hold on. God save me now. How many people dance? Walk the Moon is now. just on brand sub radio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of old sub radio does remind me of Walk the Moon, which they talk about in their interview. They released this in January. That is not a January oh, song. Single. Yeah, it's oh. January 2019 they released it. Oh, that's newer than I, I For some I just think that's like the. It's just so summery to me, but That's, a lot of Walk the no, Moon yeah, is. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Walk the Moon's great. I didn't actually consider any of their songs because of like the radio effect where it's like everyone's heard Shut Up and Dance. So I just don't even feel like talking about Walk the Moon. And I get it. Because yeah, it's like there's so out. much, there's fatigue with it. And yeah. I think the same thing happened to a band like AJR where people got so sick. I of, was going to put and people like really hate them now. And yeah. I don't understand. Like they're, they're just out there trying to be original and just trying doing to things a, that people haven't yeah. done. And people are so mean to them. They were like, what was, I saw one that was like, they're just trying to be, they're trying to be a worse 21 pilots or something. It's people like, people are on. as mean to them as they are to that Jake Novak guy that did the SNL cast yeah. thing on TikTok. Yeah. Which he has not posted <laughs> anything on TikTok since the whole world bullied him. I hate the internet. Like that the guy was just place. trying to be original. Yeah. He didn't do anything wrong to anyone. Hate on the internet's real. So, I mean, we should know from our submit hub feedback. I also put Big Shot by Floor. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal. Yes. Such a good song. It's very summary to me. I like, want to have a slice of that. Yeah. It's like so much rasp and yeah. I don't even know what he does. Um, oh. I put that one. Um, I put Daphne Blue by the band Camino. Oh, um, <laughs> band Camino. I remember I think, when I listened to the band Camino for the first time. Oh, I wish I could go back. Best band Camino song is Know It All. You can't convince me otherwise. It's the best one. Just, just throw that out there. Everybody Dies. Dirty Little Secret. Oh, good one. Island by the Starting Line. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's so summer. Oh like, yeah. Let's sail away. Start our, our own country. country. Yeah. Oh, that's a good album. Yeah. That's a good album also i put english girls by the main but that whole album and bro yeah american candy album is summer vibes all day english girls yeah okay so how in the world 
we we we've been through a lot. We just individually got down to twelve out of that talk that you all just heard. So now we're we each have twelve songs, <laughs> which, which I do want to say was fifty three minutes in real time. Yeah, this, um, we're at an hour. I think of, the easiest way to get down to ten. Why? I think between the two of us, we should probably pick a couple that we are just unwavering and will not. That'll probably get us to ten right there. <laughs> it might. It might. So. Um, Maybe like a fantasy draft, you know? Yeah. Um, All right. Well, hands down, a song I can't live without this being on this list is The Outfield by The Night Game. I'm with it. I feel I, like it has. It I, changed I, my life. That song and that album changed my life yeah. in such a positive way that yeah. I feel like it does represent us as a band Yeah. for like our favorite summer I mean, if you listen to our, our last EP... A lot Party's of it, Over was basically a lot of the, night game the Night Game was not as talented. <laughs> <laughs> the snare drum on Carolina is like 100% me trying to copy the Night Game. So, um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the one that has to be on there for me, I, Ocean Avenue, is number one. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's I, the I'll, best. At least so Yellow Card in any form has to make this list. So Correct. I agree. If I had to go between, because mine was always summer, Ocean Avenue defeats it like by no competition so. okay yep pool <laughs> really uh, i don't know what was your, do you have a pair more song or no no i don't i love pool uh, that's just not what i would have thought of i mean it's a vibe if you can't live without it i'll put it on the list i'm just thinking of here like, if that's a the lot one, i could do without so like, and that's not one of them that's not one of them <laughs> Okay, I'll put but it on the if list. it comes down to, I, I don't even want to seem like a hater. I love that yeah. song, and it's probably the one that I listen to the most off of that album. Yeah, yeah. I mean that that's... and like fake happy because, yeah. Sometimes I just want to slip into seasonal depression. <laughs> it happens all of us. <laughs> just listen to that album on yeah. repeat. Dang. Um, I mean, I'm gonna go pool. Should okay. we go with like ones that I could eliminate? Or I guess, no, let's go with you. What's your like? Well, you got two that you can't live without. So I want to get one more that I can't. Yeah. I got to go tongue tied. Mm. I I got to go. It, okay. It, tongue tied is one of the best okay. summer songs for me. I just feel like the that song has, I think there are probably a lot of people that have like experiences around that song of just yeah. like hanging out with friends. Yeah. Taking and my for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for sure uh, so i i think i think that's one that i can't okay. I can't do without that's fair first elimination will be the spill canvas reckless abandonment i I'm love cool with it that. but i can i can do without it okay my uh, my turn i think i think i can live without time bomb i guess mm. from walk the moon like i love it i think sonically it's such yeah. a summer vibe okay. i don't know if there's enough love there yeah. Oh, that, I that hurts me. It I hurts definitely me. definitely don't. I mean, I just don't have many associations with it. So yeah, no, I get it. But it is a vibe. It's yeah, no, vibe. I love this song, but um, I could I could do without it. I can also eliminate... I'm just looking don't at, do it, I'm Aaron. I'm just looking at these. You don't... Listen, you want Justin Timberlake in there so bad. I really want Can't Stop the Feeling. Put it in there. You know, my gift to you. Can't Stop the Feeling. <laughs> Elevated state champs. We both agreed on that one. Yeah. I think we agreed on Sonder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do I we have look, to put Sonder in? I think so. I was thinking old uh, the Rex, but like once you said Sonder, I was like, yep, that's it. You know, and the thing about that, I told I told Aaron a minute ago Rex while we were off off air, off air. Uh, I didn't want to penalize a song just because it was new, and yeah. the amount that I've listened to that song this summer has been it's definitely going to be in my like when I do my year in for Apple it's going to be my it's going to be the top, yeah, yeah. for sure. So you live without your all-time low song. I guess it's fair for me to live without mine. Well, we also talked about English Girls by the Main. Gosh, the American so Candy good. Album. It's like, how do you choose? Okay, we might have to start getting some criteria for summer jams. Like, okay. what is a summer jam? That's very subjective. Um, That's what I'm saying. But for us, for, for, uh, for yeah, us, yeah. What is what our is definition a of a summer jam? What do you, Aaron? What do you? And you didn't even put this at the beginning. Yeah. To you. What is a summer jam? Like, what does it consist of? If you can build one, what does it have to have? It's got to be, it's got to be a beat, first of all. So, like, I was, by that definition, you probably have to take Dark Blue out. Yeah, you're right. You probably have to take Holiday from Real out. Yeah. Just for upbeat. It's, it's like mid-tempo. It's, upbeat. it's like mid-tempo. It's not Lyrically, it's not like, like the happiest either. Like, I think, let's look at our list right now. Um, ooh, I mean, pool, the, the, pool might not meet that criteria. And neither is the outfield. Nah. 
You got me standing in it's the like groovy. Okay, syncopated. It starts out slow, but it's got like, it's still dancey in a way. Okay. So if but we're going. Pool might be out. If we're going to go. So how do you, how do you, how do you define upbeat though? Or do you mean upbeat so, beats per minute? Do you mean upbeat no, like upbeat per minute. lyrically? Do you mean. No, definitely not lyrically because there upbeat, could be some happy songs that are sad. Upbeat that like makes you groove? I think Does that. Does have, have a groove? I think something with like a driving drum beat to it. And it doesn't have to be like rock drum specifically, yeah. but like some kind for, of pocket. Yeah. So like, if you're thinking it can't stop the feeling, I, it checks almost all the boxes that I would have, but I also consider like driving guitars to be a summer jam for me, which I know can't stop the feeling doesn't fall into that category. Cause there's, it's very clean, like uh rhythmic guitars. It's not, well, you know that now you're just getting into genre. Because I know. Like for some people, a summer jam might just straight be pop punk and yeah. there's not like, yeah, you know, that's a, just blast beats all day. That's tricky. Because, uh, I mean, like, one band that I did not mention in mm-hmm. my summer jams, even though it, I mean, the story so far, I mean, oh, the I Things almost You Don't See some. album is I one of my favorite some. albums of all time, and it's completely different. I almost picked Small Talk, or I forget what song I picked from them, but it was, like, on a list, and then oh, I, I moved it off. I love that but, band. So we have upbeat, to remove... Upbeat Groove. Does that, does that... I stand by that, but I realize that might put Pool out of it. Do you want to move pull to the maybes? Yeah. Okay. So that's um. Maybe. So upbeat. I think that means we probably have to take holiday from real out. Mm-hmm. I love it. But. Yeah, and I'll take out dark blue for sure. I think so. English girls by the main. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, though, except for maybe one track, that album is quintessential summer like oh my gosh yeah um like really upbeat drums driving even the yeah. drum tones on that album so good they have a lot of really good driving guitars which is something that i generally like which so I english know. girls are gonna put on there i think so okay so some of my favorite summer jams i agree with you it has to be upbeat mm-hmm. um for me i I'm a lyrics person mm-hmm. always have been yeah. um because i can't do anything else uh musically Got only for me, you know. there has to be, and it doesn't necessarily have to be my experience with the song, but the song has to be lyrically, I mean, it doesn't have to be, but I I think it's a better summer song if lyrically they are doing something almost summer related. Mm-hmm. Hanging out with friends, having a good time, yep. something, you know what I'm trying to say? So like, I agree actually. And so I, that, that takes Moonlight away. Moonlight Ride from For the Foxes for me. Yeah. Like, that follow checks, me tonight. I'll take you on a moonlight ride. That checks all the boxes for me. Yeah, I, I think... Like, it's really upbeat. The the two-four snare in the chorus and, like, the... Even, like, the guitar from the beginning, like, the very jingly, jangly thing. Yeah, um, and, 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 like, checks ly- all the boxes. lyrically, oh, my gosh. It's such a good song. Like, yeah. it, talking about wanting to have that shared experience with somebody and, I yeah. mean, like... um uh, what's uh, the even the bridge comes in and it's just like if I sang you to sleep would you listen I'll tell you all the things you were missing with thoughts flow like river bends we burned too many cigarettes at home where did you go yeah um, I hated you for leaving so like it's like it's, yeah. wanting to take someone away like I feel like summer is the time where you like go on a road trip go yeah. steal your friends or steal your lover and go out and yeah. have some kind of experience like to me that that makes it summer yeah for sure I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. Four that Fox actually, is RIP to that band because it was before its time. Yeah. If they would have started making music like five years after they did, I yeah. think they would have blown the heck up. I think that and uh, that one Stages and Stereos EP. No. Oh. Um, those two were around the same time and they did a similar thing. I uh-huh. mean, For the Fox is a little bit raw, more raw than That Stages and Stereos, Stereos EP was but amazing. Like, I think hometown favorites. Hometown, oh. yes. Um, and one of my favorite album artworks even oh, yeah. though it's like nothing special i just yeah, love like, it it's like that weird blue it's purple, purple and yeah. it's just it's the strung lights yeah. that's like all blurry and it's, it's really like good. the it's like the girl that but you can't really see it's kind of blurred yeah. out because of the lights just Man, it, they, it makes it seem like it's all like like flashing by before your eyes which yeah. I, I think that's probably what they were going for yeah. stages was really onto something with that out uh, that and ep they just, like, like never released anything no i think they might have done a couple more pop punk songs after that but like like i think that progression of like pop punk artists started doing more indie pop stuff yep like a lot of artists did that but they just did it too early i think i don't know honestly i really do think it's some of it just didn't catch on at the time yeah i don't know why but yeah i I don't know the scene kids weren't ready for it yet yeah for real (laughs) what else is on your list that you still feel like should be debated missing you by the summer set and i have chelsea by the summer set 
So I feel like we should probably decide which one of those two yeah. should go in the maybes. Yeah. Okay. Man. All right. Let's think lyrically. Uh, what's more summer? Chelsea, Chelsea, tell me you love me. Or I can't even think of the lyrics to missing you right now. He's Give me going, every drink and every number. He's going out and bar hey, crawling. Hey, I'm not missing you. Bar yeah, crawling like, to get over his... Yeah. That's pretty summer. It's pretty summer. <laughs> pretty summer. Considering we wrote a song that's very similar. The that's Ego true. Trip. This should be coming out soon. That's true. But I, I will say in term, with Chelsea, though, mm-hmm. let's take this back 2005. Drink support. Drink support. Girl so fine. Yeah. So many dimes got dollar signs. It's like about like liking yeah. this girl that you want to take on the town, yeah. which is also pretty... Summer, I mean, I feel like that's a pretty summery feeling. Um, they're both upbeat. Mm-hmm. Man, I guess. What what you should take away from this is that the Somerset is an incredible band. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I can think every phase. I mean, they went Listen, really pop for I, the legendary album. Uh, right? Is it called Legendary? Yeah. That was like their most pop they went. But like Stories for Monday, I think was the best best album, best medium between their really poppy stuff and then their like pop punk stuff. Yeah. Um. I think I think I think the stories from Monday albums where they found themselves yeah. like sonically. I think that was the best version That's of Somerset. Where my argument comes in. Listen, dude, missing I w- you. <laughs> missing you is a bet. I think it's a better song than Chelsea. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I um. Yeah. So okay, listen. One's about getting over someone, and one is about trying to get with someone. Yeah, you can keep my sweater. Don't want it back because it's summer. <laughs> <laughs> that's why (laughs) yeah because it's hot outside that's what he meant (laughs) i'm gonna manipulate all these lyrics to be um lyrically chelsea's lyrics are a lot more like teenage e Mm -hmm. i'm rolling with this girl because i like this girl right Mm -hmm. right what goes together better than teenagers in summer like so now you're playing to the stranger things because listen but but listen but listen man Summer as a 28-year-old is not as glamorous. <laughs> Why did I say 28? I'm 27. Summer <laughs> as a 27-year-old is sad. It's not. It's sad summer, which is why they, they sad started summer the fest. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, that's true, though. Summer as an adult is way sadder because it's like, there's there's no time off. It's it's just life. Like, this we're, is a younger song. Yeah. Like, younger as in, like, yeah. younger audience at the time. Younger experience. Yeah. And I, I guess is, in, in general, too, that is a happier song because Missing You, while it's like, oh, I'm over you, it's still got a little bit of that, like, I'm still thinking about it. Well, yeah, otherwise sad. you wouldn't be singing the song. Right. I mean, it's like I bring it up all the time because I'm totally over you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, so I think from that aspect, too, like, you don't want to be sad in the summer. What? So. Um, We have upbeat. We have lyrical. What else makes it a summer song? I think for me, and again, this isn't going to narrow it down anything. It's got to pass the world down windows test. <laughs> and both of these do. Um, we've been debating this one for a long time. This is tough. Um, maybe it's a moot point. Hold on. Do you feel like Elevated beats that one? D- I don't um, think lyrically it does as far as being a summer song. I think I just it's because it's a fast pop punk yeah. song that I've heard a lot in the summer. I think if we're going to go tour. if we're going to go with like a diversity here I don't think we need Elevated because um, Ocean Avenue and Sonder, I think, kind of fill that void. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. Okay, the only other song that I actually have two more on here. I have Stacy's Mom Mm. and I have Good For You. And I really do think that Good For You, like that was a, that took over in the summer, didn't it? Uh, yeah, I think so. If good for you outbeats Paramore, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> because that's just, it's a Paramore song. Good for you. We all know this. If it's you misery have a, business. It's misery business. Same chord progression. They switch from minor to major chord. It's a whole thing. It's not. Um, it's but like I do think knowledge. that good for you, like, I mean, the whole like vibe around that song too is like, she's like a cheerleader in the music video, isn't she? Isn't it? Isn't that her whole like aesthetic? Yeah. I feel like it's very teenager. It's very, yeah. it's like tongue in cheek, very just, yeah. Uh, I, but I, I do, I think good for you belongs on it. Yeah. I don't disagree. Put home for the summer on there. We got to shout out the, our boys. Home for the summer's making it. I Although mean, the funny you, thing, you don't get more summer than that song title, obviously, but it's also, it's, will. it meets our criteria. Okay. So um, that means we are between pool and Chelsea Yikes. and missing you. Yikes. 
This is Look, impossible. I, you know what? I'll make the decision right now just because I actually love the song. And I think if I had to be honest with myself, it's, pr- it's, it's definitely top two, maybe top Somerset song ever. I'll put Missing You on Dang. there and I'll feel fine with it. All right. Missing You knocked out Chelsea and Pool. Okay. All right. I can live with this. I'm not too butthurt. I, anything that I was butthurt about, I internalized, and I'll pass over aggressively tell you about it later. Yeah, he's just gonna, <laughs> he's actually going to just put all my bad vocal takes yeah. in the next single. Yeah. So I'm just not gonna tune anything, and I'm not gonna, it's all your voice cracks and everything. <laughs> okay. Jo- Josh is gonna hear it, and he's like, guys, what are you doing well, in this song? He always, no, and then Aaron's gonna be like, do you see what I'm working with? <laughs> like, I decided to stop. <laughs> Um, okay, that oh, gives man. us a top 10, bro. How did we get here? We made a top 10. That was exhausting, guys. You probably, I don't know how much time it took to show this on screen. I'm imagining it's somewhere between five to seven minutes. This took us 40, wait, yeah. we've been at it for like an hour and a half, we've, hour 45. Yeah. Holy crap. This is a Thursday evening, we guys. We did We're it. just turning it up. Top man. 10. Now, we got to go top five. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. I think Listen, I'm going to lose well, JT you know, in this I don't round. think... I feel like JT is going to lose it this round. But I don't think it's going to hurt, though, because I think our top five is probably just as easy as putting on the ones that we just, like, agreed with. Yeah. All right, round three. We're going to take ten to five. If we're incorrect, blame it on the caffeine. Nice. So, like, for sure, Ocean Avenue is on the list. Yeah. For sure, Outfield is on the list. Yeah. Um, from there, I can do without can't stop the feeling. You can, I think. Are you sure? I, if we're going to five, I feel like there's no way okay. around it. But and we'll I think, see. and I think going for like the standard pop, good for you. I can, I can take out of there. Okay. Um, I kind of want to put Moonlight right in there. Moonlight, yeah. I, Moonlight I really Red's got to go there. We're already at three. That's we're okay. Like, we're doing great. I need two more. Um. Okay, for me. I'm going to take out Missing You and Home for the Summer just because I think those are the ones that made it into the top 10. Yeah. That like... Yeah, that's fair. So that leaves us with three, right? Like um, three for two spots. Oh, yeah. So we have Tongue Tied, Sonder, and English Girls. I don't want to be biased, but I actually just don't have a connection to Tongue Tied. I know, and it's so, one that I want in there so bad. I don't want to so eliminate it. I just... It just, think, it's just—it's such a party both, song. I think we both agree, though, that Saunders, Saunders in there. So now we're just pinning English girls versus Tongue Tied at this point. So yeah, Saunders I think there. Saunders there, um, which means Tongue Tied versus English girls. Me, I love let, both let, of let them. Let me listen to Tongue Tied. <laughs> I don't think they ever played at Fall Fest, but for some reason, I just like this is Fall Fest. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay, and um, then I'll put on English Girls for you. What do English Girls like? This one is definitely more pop punk. We are pretty covered on that, too. In term, I'm thinking diversity of our list. On the corner. I mean, this is easy breeze out the window, driving down the road. I it will. Is. <sighs> I will I say it fulfills what Sonder and Ocean Avenue does. I think, like, yeah. roll down the windows and belt the crap out of it. Like, mm-hmm. I think you can do that just as I well. I think Tongue Tied is probably tie- tied <laughs> tied more to. Yeah. I mean, okay. Let me put let me put it to you this way. The one that we put on here is either gonna. It's either gonna be because of the the drive with the windows down effect, right? English girls, so you can do that. Or tongue tied, the one you're listening to and jamming out with your friends, mm-hmm. probably at a party, yeah, or out at the like yeah. at, at the bar or something. Yeah. Whatever one speaks summer more to you. Now you know what. Yeah. Here's the thing. This is a a top five that is for our band, yeah, and we do have the shared experience with English girls. Mm. That I think it's fair mm-hmm. to put English girls in the top five, yeah, because it's one we agree on. Yeah, it's not about it's not about my opinion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. about the shared opinion. We agree with the other four. Yeah, yeah, like easily. Mm-hmm. So I guess we should just go with the one that we both agree. That makes sense. Okay, to me. 
So English girls gets on there, even though I will go on record and say tongue tied, I would have the first two that came to my mind in this whole entire list is Ocean Avenue and tongue tied. Mm. But dang, um, English girls in the top five. So funny. The very first song that came to my mind was the outfield for some reason. Like when I was thinking of this list before I started going through my artists, I'm like, out game or (laughs) out game. Out game. <laughs> the outfield by the Nike. So, man, our top five. Oh yeah, do we need to rank them now? Do you want to? Oh man, I think they're probably already ranked. Yeah, I think based on how Dude, we, I think we ranked how them. We agreed. I think that is how we ranked. Ocean them. Avenue one, outfield two, Moonlight Ride three, Saunder four, English Girls five. Yeah. You know what's funny is I bet if we did this exercise again tomorrow, we'd put new songs on the list. Oh yeah, we we'd have a completely different list. It's like all we know is that on July. 28th yeah at approximately at, 8 21 at night yeah this was our list for the far sides top five summer jams and i know we're missing a bunch so oh, yeah that's the sad be, part about this too is like there's so many songs that i that could have made this list it's just you know time of year right now where we because because we're missing stuff and we know because we we're are. missing you <laughs> nice. i'm just kidding Whatever medium you are on right now, whether it's Instagram, whether it's TikTok, whether it's, I don't even know, YouTube, mm-hmm. <laughs> comment below. What's your summer jam? Seriously. Let like, us we want to know. And uh, we are you know, obviously, if it's, if it's one that we agree with you with, maybe we'll comment. Maybe yeah. we'll do a cover of it. Yeah. Stay tuned. Who yeah. knows? Obviously, we're very biased to our or, experiences growing up. So, like, I imagine people have completely different ideas of what summer music right. is to them. So, that's that'll be cool to, like, hear from you guys to like see what you guys like and it's also it's so subjective like somebody's summer songs are you know they could be it's, it's all based off of experience mm-hmm. that's all music is is mm-hmm. shared experience so yeah. um but i do think it would also be interesting so comment on you know your favorite summer songs and why we'd love to hear that mm-hmm. comment any of these ones that we maybe talked about that you were like hey you guys should do a cover of that yeah maybe we'll do that yeah um you know if some of you guys have never heard one of these songs before go listen to him and then be like yo i want to hear you guys do them unless it's yeah. the freaking outfield because he's a way better singer than i am <laughs> we made it we made it level three Somehow. of the heartbreak arcade done hey caffeine is out it's a song about uh honestly falling in love from distance and staying up drinking coffee and mm-hmm. trying to just talk to that person before you fall asleep yeah what it's about so go listen to it we think Stream it's a, it up we think it's a summer jam mm-hmm. yeah it's it's definitely falls in that category of a nighttime driving yeah. summer jam to me oh yeah for like sure. that's kind of like the same thing with like a pool situation with paramore to me it's like yeah that it's a good thing to just put on at nighttime when you're yeah driving. and i i think the whole ep which will you know eventually be done mm-hmm. uh it's very summery mm-hmm. a lot of them are upbeat summer this one's more of the summer nights like you said yeah. so we've kind of been we we how did american we bring, nights not we make bring this? to you that's one of the best songs how ever. did american nights not so make good this? well that'd be a summer nights song i guess yeah. but anyway <sighs> all right we gotta we can't we, <laughs> we can't keep second guessing ourselves we have this list we're sticking to it so i mean hey if you like summer music listen to the far side because we think that the stuff we're putting out right now with the heartbreak arcade is very summery in mm-hmm. one way or another so I guess that's it. We'll uh, move back for round four, level four here. Follow us on all of our platforms. It's at We Are The Far Side on all platforms. Our website is wearethefarside.com where you can find all links to all of our media across all platforms. Yeah, go to TikTok and listen to all of our covers. Uh, Request one. Yeah, we like doing covers. It's a good time. Good time. All right. Peace. Peace. That took so long. I did. (laughs)